If your product isn't amazing in its real value, it doesn't matter how amazing your listing is, it doesn't work. So this is a beautiful listing. The reviews are pretty bad because the real value is low even the, though the perceived value is high. What do you do? You have to build a better product. Okay, so we are here in Stockholm, Sweden and we are in pastry heaven. And we're gonna go test out Mr. Pavlok and see how he does. I'm starving. I haven't had pastries all day. I need food, so let's go. Oh, wait, forgot something. Oh, Special crap. little bracelet. Oh boy. <laughs> What's that? So this is supposed to train you not to eat pastries because pastries can make you fat. And so so every time, every time I eat them, I have to push this, and it's gonna shock me. I actually heard about that in a podcast. Would you like to try it? No, absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> Ladies first. Hey, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I actually feel nervous right now. No, I'll just try it without this. <laughs> no, you can like tap your phone or something. I mean your watch. My, <laughs> what phone are we watch? talking about? Oh, I'm just trying <laughs> it, right? Yeah. Sweet. What am I doing? Why am I... You're just being nice. If it's ladies first for the pastries, it's also ladies first for the watch. That's really good. Oh, that hurt. Would you like to try it? Mm. <laughs> I have to push it hard though. Did I already do it? No. <laughs> I thought you were going to push it. No, no, you have to have your pastry first. Okay. I'll thoroughly enjoy this. Let's do it. You have to push it hard. Oh. <laughs> it's always later. This is a new date for us. We take turns. Eating and shocking. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm still hungry. I'm alive. You alive? You good? I think. You ready for more? <laughs> Punishment. <laughs> Thank you, Pavlok. We don't love you, but we love the pastries. You know what? She said it's stupid. Maybe it is. I've suffered. I've gone through the zaps. I just can enjoy this. Too bad. Oh, <laughs> dang it. I'm just gonna hold it and then one, one push, I promise. Come on. Go ahead. You're pushing it already. I'm just being ready. That's it. I can't do this left-handed. Come on, KK. <laughs> I'm making it worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Was it worth it? Did you make it worth it? <laughs> I want to know what you guys think. Do you think this Pavlok is worth it based on what you saw. Would you buy it? And more importantly, if you're gonna differentiate this product, how would you differentiate it? What is missing based on this just real life interaction of using it while eating this amazing, scrumptious food? Pavlok. Spent $200 to shock ourselves while eating some nice pastry things here in Seattle. Pavlok 2 Habit Conditioning Device. I love this title. Pavlok 2 is the brand. Version 2 means it's the next upgrade with bonus habit change ebook. This is a pretty badass title. It's not overdone. A lot of people overdo it. The sad thing is it's only got three stars. I can almost guarantee you, I know why, people are gonna say it doesn't work. I'm tired of being shocked and it doesn't exactly put you in a really good mood for giving a positive review after shocking yourself when trying to enjoy a pastry. But let's check this out, guys. First thing I wanna find out is how well is it selling? So let's check this out. $200 is a lot of money to spend on something to shock you, unless they can really sell and convince you that you need it. Now notice the bullet points. Upgrade your life, change your behaviors, move forward, get on track, join the community. These are all extremely well done. So the branding on this is excellent. It's actually a cool looking watch, makes you look like you're in, with Flash or something. They even have a video, which is nice. And they got variations. I mean, I can't say much to improve this listing. The main problem is the reviews. So really quick, let's find out the number one issues with the reviews. And I'm gonna go to the top critical. Works for about two hours, then you can throw it away. Okay, obviously that's an issue if it's not working. That's 
clearly what you need to fix is the issue. But I wanna know the main reason why people say it's a problem. Looking at two star, not worth spending money, money on it. Hand detection deleted, only kicks in when my hand is over my head. The delay, they don't like it. Couldn't get it to work for me. There's no good support, Can't, okay. So the issue is technical, simple as that, it's technical. And their sales are gonna drop because there's a technical issue, the quality is low. They probably got a really good deal on this and they're charging way too much for the quality. Bottom line, find a better manufacturer. Guys, you can't get away from this. If your product isn't amazing and it's real value, it doesn't matter how amazing your listing is, it doesn't work. So this is a beautiful listing. The reviews are pretty bad because the real value is low even though the perceived value is high. What do you do? You have to build a better product. That's it, very simple. Happy pastry eating and wrist shocking.